everyone. Welcome to Get Your Plate Online. Happy Sunday. Today we are going to be doing a craft, a fish craft using bubble wrap. But before we do that, I'm going to read a quick story called You Be You by Linda Krantz. And our bubble wrap painting is going to be based off of this book. I hope you enjoy it. Before I start quickly, I'm going to change the name of the character in this book to Hudson. Hudson is the name of my son, and this story is about a little fish. So I'm going to call him Hudson after my son. Hud Hudson bounced. He glided. The expression on his face was pure joy. He had been out all day exploring, and now he was swimming home. As he made his way through the ocean waves, he couldn't help but notice that some fish swim left, some fish swim right. How do you swim? Some fish swim in a circle, some fish swim in a line. Some fish swim up, some fish swim down. Some fish swim quiet, some fish swim loud. Some fish are colorful, some fish are plain. Some fish look different, some fish look the same. Some fish are big, some fish are tiny. Some fish are smooth, some fish are spiny. Some fish swim high, some fish swim low. Some fish swim together, some fish swim alone. Some fish are red, some fish are blue. Some fish swim in the sunshine, some fish swim by the moon. Mama and Papa beamed when Hudson arrived. He was excited to tell them what he had discovered in his travels. Mama and Papa listened eagerly as he told them about all of the fish that he saw. There are so many of us, Hudson said. We all have something special that only we can share. Papa agreed. We can learn so much from each other. He smiled. There are millions of fish in the deep blue sea. That's what makes the world so colorful and beautiful. Life is a grand journey, Hudson Mama said. You be you. Swim! I hope you like that story. The reason that I chose this book and to do a picture of a fish is because I love the colors in this book. And I love that the story talks about how everyone, meaning the fish, are all different, even though they're all fish. And just like us people, we're all different. We're different colors, we're different shapes, we're different sizes. But together, we can all have a lot of fun together. So now I'd like to have some fun with you. Let's get to painting. Like I said, today we're gonna to use some bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap, do you? I love that it makes noise. I love how it feels. It can be soft, it can be loud. But today we're gonna to use it as material to paint with. What I'd like you to do is to please take a piece of bubble wrap. You can make it any size that you want. You're also gonna take a piece of paper. It can be any color that you want. I'm going to use white. Take a plate, a piece of paper towel, or anything that you're allowed to put paint on. Choose your colors that you want to use. You'll also need some paint brushes. 
and to wash off your paint brushes, why don't you grab yourself a container and fill it with just a little bit of water. Hurry back, get all your supplies. All right, are you ready to do some crafts? So, you're gonna take this bubble wrap and I'd like you to please flip it over. You have the bubbly side that makes all of the snappy sounds and then you have the nice smooth side. So please take your smooth side and that's gonna be face up. Then, oh, I forgot to tell you, you may want a marker. You're gonna grab yourself a marker. I'm gonna take a seat. You're gonna grab yourself a marker and on that smooth side of the bubble wrap, I'd like you to make your fish any way you want. Imagine what you think a fish looks like and let's outline one. Did you give your fish a mouth? Did you give it some fins? How does it look? This is what mine looks like. Can you see it? Now, you're going to take your piece of paper and let's put your piece of paper down on your table. You're gonna take your bubble wrap and now you're gonna flip it over so the bubble side is up. So you want the nice bumpy side to be up and the flat side that you traced is going to be against the paper. Now that you've chosen your paint colors, put just a little bit on your plate. We don't wanna waste. I'll give you a couple of seconds to get all your paint out. Use as many colors as you want or only use one. Remember, this is your craft. You do whatever you want. You be you. Now, the one thing that I will say is you may want to grab some blue because fish swim in the ocean, they swim in a lake, they swim in water. And I always think that water should be blue. But again, you can make it any, any color you want, but I will ask that you do have some kind of blue or something for the fish to swim in. All right, do you have your colors? I have mine. I chose red, green, and yellow, and then blue for the water. What did you choose? Now, we have our outline of the fish. We are going to take the outline of, of our fish and we're gonna use that to help us paint. What I'd like you to do is to please put some paint on your paintbrush and you are gonna fill in everywhere where the fish is. All right, so let's get going. Is everyone having a good Sunday today? Is anyone celebrating Father's Day? Who are you celebrating the day with today? Are you lucky enough to be able to have other family over? I hope so. I hope wherever you're living that it's nice and sunny because it is here. It's a beautiful day today. All right. How's the painting coming along? think I need some more colors. What about you? Okay. Now, as you paint, you can choose to either paint one dot at a time, or as I'm doing, I am just painting and filling in everywhere where I had that outline because I don't care if it's very messy. Let's see. Now I'm using multiple paint brushes. I'm using a big flat one and I'm using a circular sponge one. And I also have this very fine one, very thin too, if I wanted to add some details. Now, are you gonna give your fish dots, zigzags, speckles. What's it gonna look like? 
Did you make a mouth on your fish? Did, are you gonna make it the same color as the rest of the body or different? Okay. Now, once you are done and you've painted all of your fish, I need just a little more. How about you? Do you need a little more paint on your fish? You are going to take your bubble wrap. Can you lift it up and show me? That's what mine looks like. You're gonna take your piece of paper, take your piece of paper, and you're gonna put your fish on the paper just like that. And very gently with your fingertips, just rub very lightly back and forth. We wanna do something called transfer or make a print of our image on our paper. And carefully pick up your bubble wrap. Does yours look anything like that? Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want my fish to swim alone. So I think I wanna add some more fish friends to it. So I'm gonna take another piece of bubble wrap. I'm gonna make a smaller fish and I am gonna draw another fish. And I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And I'm gonna paint that fish on. How about you? I'm gonna do the same thing, but I think I want this fish to just be one color. So I'm gonna paint the bubble wrap Okay, and let's do the tail. You know what, I wanna give this tail just a straight line, that's it. That may look silly to some people, but this fish is just gonna have a tail that's a straight line. And I think I'm gonna give it green lips. Can you make a fishy face for me? Okay, I'm then gonna take that fish that I did on the bubble wrap and I'm gonna press it down on the paper. And again, with my fingertips, gently rub the bubble wrap. Okay, peel it off. And that's what my two fish look like. Now, my fish are going to swim in blue water. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush. I have to dry it off a little bit. And I'm gonna take the blue paint that I put down. Ooh, I need some more. Let's plop some more blue paints on. And I'm gonna make some waves. How do you make waves? I'm just gonna make waves that go up and come down, go up and come down. Are you gonna paint water that's just straight across your paper? You do it however you would like. Are you gonna paint your entire picture blue to make it look like water? Again, you make it however 
you want. Are there other animals that you would like to add to your picture? Would you like to add more fish to it? Do you know what it's called when a group of fish swim together? They swim in a school. Did you know that, that fish went to school? Okay. So I don't know if you're gonna like my bubble wrap painting of my fish, but I think it looks pretty cool. I have two fish. I have mama fish and I have baby Hudson fish all the way over here. Now, do they look the same? Are they identical? Well, let's see. Mama fish has a yellow mouth, red with a little bit of purple and some green in the tail. Baby Hudson fish, I made red, just like mama. But what's different about baby Hudson fish is that he has a green mouth and a yellow tail. So even though mama and baby Hudson are both fish, they look a little different. Now, today is Father's Day. So if you are lucky enough to celebrate with someone who is a dad, maybe you wanna make this as their Father's Day card. You can write Happy Father's Day. You can write dad, granddad, pop pop, maybe an uncle you're celebrating with. That's what I did when I made one earlier this morning. Mine said, dad, you're fantastic. Get it? Fantastic. I also decided to add some bubbles. So I took some blue markers and I made dots. Do you happen to have some markers near you? Why don't we take our painting and let's make some bubbles to make the fish look like they're breathing. I'm gonna find a dark blue because I use paint that is light blue. So let's see. Okay, I have a dark blue marker and I'm just gonna make little circles going up in the air to make it look like the fish are breathing. You see? Now the baby one, I'm gonna make little dots down here, but the mama fish, I'm just making big marks up here. Okay, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Do you know any other fish phrases that we could use? if you're gonna make this as a card for somebody today for Father's Day, or maybe it's somebody's birthday today, or maybe you just wanna make this card for somebody else to make them have a wonderful day today. Do you know any funny fish phrases? Besides fantastic, I can't think of any. But if you have any, please let me know because I would love to use them later. Well, thank you for sharing your Sunday with me. Again, the book that we read was You Be You by Linda Kranz. The art project that we did was bubble wrap painting. Do you remember all the supplies that we used? We used bubble wrap. We used a paper plate to put our paint on our paint brushes, a container with some water to wash off our brushes if we needed, paper, you can use any color that you want. Did I miss anything? Oh, and markers so you can write or draw any additional pictures that you want on your painting. Now, before we go, do you have any bubble wrap left over? I do. What I love doing with bubble wrap is I like to fold it up. Well, I'm gonna rip off a piece. I'm gonna fold it up just like that. And I'm gonna twist it 
And I want to hear it pop. Can you try with me? And let's make a lot of noise before we go. One, two, three. Keep going. All right, I think I got all of the bubbles. I hope you had fun today and I look forward to painting with you soon. Have a wonderful Sunday.